Wednesday. I'm back for a bit, for an album, for this album. This is Nursery Crime from Genesis. Uh, those of you who have been on the channel for some time will realise and remember that I have listened to a Genesis album before, Selling England by the Pound. And I was doing some sort of experimentation at the time with how I was recording it, and the sound quality was not great. So I, I apologised profusely at the time, um, but obviously I didn't redo the video. It was, it was done. It's it what it is. But this one should be all good, I hope. I do. Um, so, yeah, I'm not, as I say, I did, I did a video last week, the uh, Pink Floyd single, um, Hey Hey Rise Up, which uh, at the time I said, this isn't a complete return to form. Now, nor is this today, but um, I am getting a little bit more time. So I'm able to do some, some bits and pieces here and there. So hopefully I'll start to ramp up a little bit. But uh, this, is, this is literally the first album I've listened to since... I don't know when, uh, July, I think. Uh, so, uh, yes, it's quite exciting as well. Um, so, I'm sure you know this uh, record cover. Um, it is a quite a, quite a good thing. Uh, so, gatefold. Um, voila. And what do we have on here? Well, that's a very good question, Jim. What do we have on here? I can't tell you because I can't see. Because my eyesight is so flipping bad. It's getting terrible. I'm turning into such an old man. Right. I Oh, what have we got here? We've got uh, the musical box, Harold the Barrel, um, Seven Stones, For Absent Friends, The Fountain of Salmasis, Salmakis, or Salmasis, um, Return of the Giant Hogweed and Harlequin. I don't actually know where these appear on the record. I think maybe Musical Box, Harold the Barrel, Seven, Seven Stones for Absent Friends is on side one. Uh, we've got, a, oh, it's a ten-minute song, a two, two, uh, three-minute song, a five-minute and a 145. And side two, if this is how this is working, we've got uh, 753, 810... And 255. 255? <laughs> right. Oh, guys and girls, I have missed you. I have missed you. I've missed you so much. I've missed these videos. I've missed listening to music. Uh, I've missed the whole thing. I have. I really have. Right. I don't even remember how to do this. So, not quite, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Right, let's go. This is side one. Oh, I can see on here it tells us what we have. We have the musical box for Absent Friends. Oh, and the return of the giant hogweed. Okay, so it's completely different from what I just thought it was. How? Oh, I don't know. Whatevs. Three... Two, one. Bosh. Very 
deliberate build-up. This is lovely. Just a little bit. I like Peter Gabriel's voice. Musicians of this era are so clever, some of the stuff they came up with. Yeah, something's coming. No, no, no. It's a false crescendo. <laughs> Phil Collins uh, doing the backing vocal. That's Phil Collins' voice, I'm sure it is. Oh, hello. Ooh. nursery rhyme so he called for his pipe and he called for his bow and he called for his, his pipe three oh, fiddlers, that's it, yeah. the clock tick tock <laughs> on the mantelpiece and I want and I feel and I know
Mendoza. Same band that did that's like invisible touch. Rush back just so pulls apart, aren't they? So young when they made this, aren't they? It's incredible. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, my Lord. Right. Teeny tiny little for absent friends, I think. It's so interesting, isn't it? It's bands from the same sort of genre. No, so we're talking sort of 70s prog rock all have their completely their own identities uh, so although this is the same technically the same genre as yes they couldn't be more different so yeah yes it's so sort of celestial and, and cosmic and mysterious whereas this is very very grounded beautiful and incredibly well performed but a very different vibe Street. 
short and sweet. Right. I think this is the giant hogweed return off. Oh, ho! Oh! That is wicked, that riff. I know that. storytelling in these songs. That sounds almost like Frank Zapparish, that bit. Same from Inca Roads. bits of Genesis before in the past. I don't really lie about that. I've heard um, obviously all of uh, Selling England by the Pound and, and just bits elsewhere. Um, but nothing was sort of like, I've never heard any song before. But there's a very definite Genesis sound, isn't there? It's a combination of the voice and the way the instrument's being played. It's, it sounds, it just sounds like Genesis.
I will say, although this sounds perfectly, perfectly good, it's a really, really good um, uh, representation of the sound through the headphones, the production is not as good, I don't think, as uh, as some of the Yes records I've been listening to. And um, Renaissance, that particularly was a really, really, really good recording. Um, it's just kind of, not muddy, but it's just, it's not so detailed, I don't think. There's something slightly, yeah, slightly muddy. I guess maybe that is the right term. Sounds great, though. Steve Hackett on the guitar here, isn't it? Yeah, and Phil Collins drums, Steve Hackett, uh, Peter Gabriel obviously doing his uh, vocals, Mike Rutherford on bass, Tony Banks. All the keyboardy bits. Um, yeah, uh, really, really, really interesting, um, uh, interesting uh, sort of side of music. This it's uh, it's it's Genesis, I and mean, it's it's interesting and experimental, and um, and it's playing playing all over the place. I think the standout for here, I mean, there's, actually there, there's so many standouts, but Phil Collins' drumming is 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 amazing. Um, I don't think he gets the props that he ought to as a as a drummer. Um, so I think that amongst those who know, they do rate him, but most people just know him from that sort of in the air tonight thing, uh, which is kind of, that's that is not the peak of his drumming I can tell you I can tell you um and I have actually also listened to a bit of um uh, brand X as well uh where he shines incredibly uh Steve Hackett's guitar work on here is is sublime um Mike Rutherford's bass uh, there's some really lovely little bass lines uh particularly in that first part the uh I think it's called the music box um I think that's what it's called the musical box, and then yeah, that was good. Uh, and uh, keyboard work from uh, Tony Banks, um, combined with everything else, was making this actually quite an epic, massive piece of music. Uh, Peter Gabriel's mad's a 
mad as a box of frogs, of course. Um, and uh, I could imagine him sort of leaping around on on stage, as is the uh, as is the sort of like the sort of the common held uh, sort of picture of him with a sort of a, his face stuck in the middle of a of a flower, uh, being Peter Gabriel, and uh, it's. Uh, uh, it's good. Uh, lyrically, the very good sort of storytelling on here. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a diametrically opposed to the the same the presentation of music and concept and idea and lyric as yes. So as I say, although from the from sort of from the same genre, uh, they are representing quite different sides of the of the coin, as it were. Uh, very good. Looking forward to side two. So I suppose we ought to get on with that now, shouldn't we? So I'll see you guys on the next video, whenever and whatever that is. And until then, it's Jim over and...